Okay, so before we dive into section one, I want to do a quick overview of Microsoft 365. I will say that if you've taken the MS100 course with Skylines Academy, you can breeze over this one and jump straight into section one, as we've covered this series of slides in that course as well. If you haven't, however, I recommend we proceed as this provides a fundamental level of what Microsoft 365 is and will help you as you continue on your course. Microsoft 365 is a subscription-based software as a service offering that allows the use of all sorts of different application services. Now, just to clarify on some terminology, when we talk about Office 365, that terminology still exists. We also call it O365, and you may have even heard it as Microsoft 365 or M365. Really, we're all talking about the same thing. The only clear delineation between O365 and or M365 is really around the licensing that's leveraged within the tenancy in that particular subscription. But it's the same office we know and love. It includes PowerPoint, Word, Excel, Outlook, etc., and includes additional things like Skype for Business, Teams, and OneDrive. Furthermore, those back-end infrastructure services that we were used to having on-premises like Skype for Business, Exchange, SharePoint, are all now included to leverage additional cloud services like OneDrive and Teams and Active Directory integration through a service called Azure Active Directory. Now, if you would like to start at a much higher level than the MS100 or the MS101 certification course, I highly recommend that you take the MS900 certification course as this is a great means of introducing yourself into the fundamentals of M365. Now, just to go over some basic prerequisites around Microsoft 365, there's going to be a list of requirements around the installation of the Office client on your device. And you can see that you can refer to the individual plan requirements and prerequisites by clicking the link here. Some other things that you'll obviously need are an access to an internet connected browser as we are going to be leveraging a software based cloud service it is a given that you will be required to have an active connection to the internet now office 365 supports a multitude of different internet browser types to include safari chrome firefox internet explorer edge and the new edge chromium edition Additional information on each of those versions can be found at the bottom of this slide here. We'll do a quick licensing breakdown. Now, full disclosure here, you don't have to be a licensing expert necessarily to pass the certification course that you're about to embark on. However, there are going to be some questions on particular products and or services that are included or not included with a particular tier of licensing, especially as you explore between E3 or E5 versions of the licensing. But the idea here with regards to this breakdown is that there's going to be a variety of different licensing tiers that are captured here, as you can see in this slide. We have E1, E3, E5, etc. We have education plans like A3 or A5, even government plans. Additional information and detailed breakdowns on the licensing plan types can be found by clicking the link at the bottom of this slide. And there you have it. Now that we've gotten the fundamentals of what Microsoft 365 is, let's go ahead and do a deeper dive as we explore into Section 1.